Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are sharing all of the things that we cannot live without as an Aussie Doodle owner and all of her favorite things. She's having a snack right now. These are the Wee Feed Raw treats that they just recently launched. I forgot to thaw one of her food packages. And so she's just having a snack until it thaws. But this is number one, I guess. I'll just start there. Her food. We looked into food for dogs forever. And we ourselves like to eat minimally processed. We like to eat as clean and as best that we can in this world. It's super hard, obviously, with the amount of last food and stuff. And so we looked into dog food because we're like, this can't be right. You can't just give your dog two scoops of food of the same exact food two times per day, sorry, Rick. And that's it. That's so boring. That can't be the healthiest option. And so we found raw food and we didn't want to do it ourselves and we didn't want to make our own fresh food. So I do think that's the next best option is fresh. But so we went with We Feed Raw. It's a brand of um, raw dog food that is a complete packaged they give you a package and it's a complete meal. There's multivitamin, there's little tiny pieces of bone, there's, it's just everything that she needs. And you can also add toppers. These are their treats. You could add a couple of these on top or just different food things to make it just more enriching for them. Enriching, is that the right word? Enrichment, whatever. I hate just the whole boring Linda of just like, here's a scoop twice a day. So anyways, we feed her, we feed raw and they have tons of different meat options. She likes all of them. We get the variety and she likes them all. They give you a plan, send you the food for the month and tell you how much to get them each day. She gets one third of her package each day. And the best thing about that is I'm not against kibble. I'm against two scoops of kibble every day for their whole life. And so you can add kibble to the top. You can mix it so you can save your raw food and make it last two months or three months so it's not just like a black and white thing you can customize it to whatever you want and whatever fits your budget so that is number one and I will put the link down below and I will put like their logo or site here because I don't have the raw food up here in my office <laughs> Was that good? Um, number two is walking accessories. So we take her for a walk every single day. And so having a good, just like uh, things that we need to walk her. Um, so having leashes and accessories that just work for us is essential. Obviously we can't live without. So this is her collar and it has her little name, which I did get this on Amazon. I'll link everything down below, but the collar is bow. And then this leash I will link below too. It's a smaller company. They have tons of different prints. Why can it sniff and bark? I'm like, why can't I think of the name? This is their sun print. Let's see if you can see it. It's like burnt orange boho. And then this is the bow. They also have bows. This is the flower attachment. You can customize their tags. They're really high quality metal. We've never had any issues with them. They also have harnesses, but their harness isn't my favorite harness. And so we just go with the collar and leash from them. They also have bandanas and dog accessories if you want to get into that. But if I, I prefer walking her with a harness. My husband does not, so he uses the collar. This is the harness that she's had for when she was a puppy. We've gone through different sizes because she's grown, obviously, but this is wild one, and I will show you why I like these. First of all, it's comfortable. It's neoprene, and then it's very durable. It's tangled. And so it's easy to put on. It has two clips here and here i usually just slip her through one and clip the back on and then it has two d rings so you can um, hook her up at her back right here or up on her neck right there so we love this it's comfortable durable never had any issues with those but their leash is my favorite leash also because we go out and like like to our restaurants and go to parks and sometimes you just want to set her up somewhere where you can just clip her onto your chair and this one comes apart you can unclip the end where you hold on to the handle, and then you can clip her onto the back of your chair or the picnic table, or if you're at the playground, just anything really. And then that is the part that clips on to her. And these are silicone. I don't know exactly. They're like silicone rubbery material. They're not fabric basically is what I'm saying. So they're super easy to clean. Whereas the wild or the uh, sniff and park ones with all the prints, they're super cute, but they do get dirty. And then you have to like soak and clean them and it's not super easy to clean. So I love this one. I will link both of them below. Next, I'll talk about grooming stuff. And we really, I think, just have the basics. There are grooming kits that are crazy. Some people groom, have the shavers and all the things at home too. We really just, I feel like, have the basic things. So you need a slicker brush, which is this strongy brush. It has, they're at different angles or they're angled. 
and this thing hurts, so be careful. But this one's essential for detangling and just brushing through. And right now she really needs a brush. She's due for a groom. And so I just have to brush her almost every day. Last week, we take her every four to five weeks. And the last week approaching the next groom is when I really just have to brush her almost every day because we keep her longer. And then she has her hair long on the top of her head. But we do a combination of this and this. So this is just a comb. I don't even know what this is called, a comb. And you want to comb and make sure you can see the skin. It's called line brushing. So you can brush down and separate or do a part and then brush and then grab another section make sure and then after you can comb through which she's tangly right now so these are the two essentials and then we also have clippers in case she gets a long nail in between for some reason we use this very rarely but i would say just to have one of these on hand because you never know when she lets maybe a really scratches chips her nail so nail clippers these are just safety ones that's why you want to have these on hand they have a little guard so you don't go too deep and then this one this is a tool that i rarely have to use but it has saved us numerous times it's very dangerous it's very sharp this is like these are blades and so i'm really selling you on it aren't i but it cuts through mats so if you have an area and she really doesn't have this issue anymore is more when she was a puppy but she would get just like big section like a big chunk where i just could not brush through this just rakes it through and cuts it out and so it's very helpful but dangerous so make sure you look up on how to use these i'm saying we can't live without it just because it has saved us a few times but these are not like you gotta be careful anyways and then the last thing i guess to go with grooming is i was going to add it to our accessories but this is part of grooming too we use this on her weekly in between grooms because um it detangles and softens it makes her smell really good this is by doodle dog town it's called the silky pup professional strength detangler spray um it's in a super cute bottle uh, i will say this bottle is big. I do feel like I have pretty decent size. I don't have like tiny hands, but this is a big bottle, which I'm glad you get tons of product. But with it being so large, it's kind of hard for me to spray this. I just sprayed my tripod. For a long period, I spray her back and then I move to like legs. So I'm spraying, I don't know, 10 times or something and it gets heavy. So I did put some of this in a smaller spray bottle so it's easier for me, but that's just a personal thing. The product, great. It smells great. It leaves her hair really, really soft and smells amazing. It does detangle. So I really love the spray. It's naturally derived ingredients. I will link this down below too. We are an affiliate for Doodle Dog Town. They have a couple other products too, so check them out. You follow them on Instagram too. And then lastly, we have ear things because she, oh no, I have two more things, but so next is ear stuff. She and a lot of most of other doodles are prone to ear infections. And so we have these on hand to prevent. And then if I do see a little bit of gunk building up, I will use these or this. This These drops are to prevent and just keep her ears clean. Inevitably, you're going to get ear infections though because they have so much hair in their ears. She hates her ears being touched, so it's hard for them to pluck the hair out at the groomer. It's just the whole thing. So these are the Kin and Kind Clean Ears. Oh, she hears me talking about it and she's already like, please don't. These are just all natural drops, cleaning drops. And so what even is in this? I think it's just witch hazel. Yep. Witch hazel tea tree aloe vera. So very basic and soap bark. So these are just a preventative cleaner. I know you hate this stuff, huh? And then if sh I notice an ear infection coming on, if you catch it quick enough, these will work. Otherwise, if it gets bad, always go to the vet because they'll give you a very strong prescription eardrop. But this is Zymox. This is an otic enzymatic solution with hydrocortisone. So you'll get itchy with those too. And this really helps with the itch and kind of soothes. And this helps the stuff come out. So you put these drops in um, and then in an hour or so you can wipe it all off and clean it really well. Uh, is it going to focus? There we go. Um, these are on Amazon. Most of the stuff, it will be linked on Amazon. Uh, pretty affordable too, but these work really well. This is a previous groomer recommended that one. And then this one, I love these because they're tiny wipes and I'll show you the container first. They make an eardrop as well. You can use a cleanser to use with this, but this is a medicated one. Um, and so, like I said, if you catch it soon enough, they're little pads like this. If you, <laughs> I'm not gonna clean my ears right now. If you catch it soon enough, you'll be okay with those. And we've found those work really well. 
And the last thing I'll talk about is CBD. And this is something we've also given her. Um, she's used since she was probably a year old. CBD has a lot of different benefits, uh, homeostasis, like muscle recovery, all kinds of things. It also helps calm them. So if you have like fireworks or something crazy going on outside, like a big party, you want to give them some CBD to help calm them down. We like the Anna Organics Dog Biscuits. They're peanut butter flavored. I'll try to put them here. Uh, but we also like just the drops. And so you could just add this to their food. This one is bacon flavored. It's by Revive Essential Oils. This is our favorite oil company, but they have a bunch of different CBDs too. And so far she likes it. She's eaten it and she's really picky. So we don't give this to her daily, but we do give her CBD. So, all right, I think that is it now. I will link everything down below. Let me know what other Aussie Doodle videos you want us to film and any requests that you have or questions about her or her breed. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. We hope you have a great day. Bye.